As most of you will remember, it was recently announced that Legendary Pictures was taking its long gestating Kong Skull Island project from Universal Studios, who decided to drop out of the project, to Warner Brothers. The speculation was that the move would open up the possibility of a Kong vs. Godzilla movie down the line. Now, The Hollywood Reporter is claiming that the script for the new Kong movie does indeed contain references to the organization known as Monarch. Some of you will remember that Monarch is the organization that Ken Watanabe and Sally Hawkins belong to in the recent Godzilla movie. Sources also told THR that Legendary is confident it can come up with a rationale to explain how Kong and Godzilla can do battle and possibly become allies. Mark, is it now pretty much inevitable that we're going to see a Godzilla versus Kong movie in the near future? I just can't stop smiling about this. <laughs> I cannot stop smiling about this. Even though some of the things that what Ashley just said, like them teaming up, becoming allies, I'm like, ah, let's pump the brakes on that. I want to see King Kong and Godzilla in the same movie do battle, and I want a clear winner. What The only thing that concerns me about this is that they're making multiple movies to set up this franchise collaboration. So you got to make sure Skull Island is good. Mm. You can't just have it done. I love the first Godzilla, or the Godzilla that came out recently. That Not everybody did. You need to make sure that the movie's leading up to this collaboration are good and that they're not just setting us up to see King Kong versus Godzilla. Let's make Skull Island good on its own. We can have Godzilla come in later. I cannot wait to see this when it happens, though. Schnepp, this warms my heart. I am also <laughs> like, as a little kid, monsters were my, were my big thing. I had the rubber Godzilla. I had the, you know, the set where I, you know, King Kong put them together, you know, and I, I'm horrible at, at putting plastic kits together, but I, I did a Godzilla, a Ghidra, a King Kong set. So, <laughs> Mothra, you name them, I had all those creatures. So I cannot wait to see King Kong versus Godzilla. And remember, the original one in Toho, Godzilla won. In America, King Kong won. They had to seek, this was one of those movies that actually had different endings for where, where they released the film. So they might do the same thing here. But I think whether who it doesn't matter who wins, they are going to team up and fight Ghidra. So that to me is like, I might okay, be yeah, 75 years yeah, old. Yeah, I do want to see them team up and fight Ghidra. <laughs> you know, you have You're to right. say they yeah. have to fight. Yeah. It's going to be Superman versus Batman. Same thing. They're going to be like, bro, we just had a battle handshake. What? Dark side. You know, you got to have that Ghidra floating in with a weird electrical ah, three heads. Those guys in the saucer are like, we must destroy Earth. It's going to be insane. But I'm going to be 70 when this comes out. Get Get on it. Come on. Get on it. Oh, I, all the only thing I hope is, remember in some of the cornier Godzilla movies, Godzilla had that atomic drop kick where he would stand there first and then rub his feet against the ground. Yes. And then go, and then run, and then just do this drop kick that would fly 5,000 feet. Sure. Like, a complete vertical line and yes. drop kick dudes. That's where Liu Kang learned that move in Mortal Kombat. That's right. right. He would use his tail to like help him. Oh, yeah, the kind of deep balance yeah. he's flying along the air. Like, actually, the biggest question that has risen at this table and amongst a lot of fans has been, well, wait a second. Godzilla is like 10 times the size of King Kong. Like, you're going to need a Kong the size of the Empire State Building, not a King Kong who hangs off the Empire right. State Building for something like this. Now, it was in response to that concern that this quote from a source at uh, Legendary said, Legendary is confident that it can come up with a rational, with a rationale to explain how Kong and Godzilla can do battle. So I think what that means is, look, Kong was in development the script was done, everything, before it was ever moved to Warner Brothers. So I'm pretty sure that one concern of yours is that, hey, don't just make this movie a build-up to the, to the fight. I think they're going to have a good self-contained movie. But I think one of the things we're going to see in the Godzilla sequel is some kind of nuclear radiation, whatever, that shrinks Godzilla. I think sh Godzilla is going to... like shrink about half or two-thirds or something like that because as things stand godzilla would step on king kong so you gotta king come Kong's up with quick. that he's quick man he's athletic he's, yeah, he's, right. he's or, flexible he's maneuverable or they're gonna take what they already had in the very first godzilla where you saw that little vial or that that said mothra so mothra is supposed to be the villain right. of the sequel to godzilla what they're gonna do is like maybe set the groundwork with kong island discover this giant this giant race of apes and then feed them that same serum or whatever, make them get bigger. All I know is this: if you love post-credit scenes, buckle your seatbelt. There's gonna be, there's gotta be a great post-credit scene yes. after Skull Island. Like, yes. oh my God, where's the monster? Dun dun! It's yeah. gonna be great. Or Godzilla's gonna be in it. Yeah. What? Yeah. It's him narrating it. All 